Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the newest project of our little Subaru family. This thing is smoking just about as bad as my Evo 8 is right now. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen the car on the channel before. A few months ago, we did new wheels, coilovers, all that fun stuff. And then there's another shop that did like a turbo upgrade and it made pretty good power. The car lasted about a week and then it blew up. So this is gonna be the next project on the channel for the next few days, guys. This is Nikki's car, Bobby's sister, and it needs a new motor. So that is what we're gonna be doing. Let's pop the hood on this thing and I don't know, figure out what's going on. When I picked this car up this morning, it's extremely low on oil. So hopefully we didn't do any more damage, but it's not really all that big of a deal because we are doing a whole new motor anyway. So here is how she currently sits. It's a pretty decent setup. I don't know how much power it made, but I think that's like a FP green, STI intercooler, all that stuff. Nikki just wants this car 100% stock, stock motor, stock turbo, stock tune, stock everything, just so it's reliable. So we're gonna be yanking this motor out. We're gonna throw in a good used, long block which isn't the best idea in the world because honestly you never really know with buying used parts but it's got 60,000 miles on it good compression numbers so we should be good to go we just drove this car for about 30 minutes it's pretty dang warm right now so i'm gonna let it cool down and then we can get to work tearing out this blown motor and we still have to go pick up the new motor so we'll probably do that later today i don't even know if we're gonna get this motor out today i wasn't planning on it but i have nothing better to do right now so yeah let's just let it cool down and get to work All right guys, so we already got the motor out. Thank God it's a Subaru because on Subies, it is way easier than it is on Evos. Now, I was just going off the shop's diagnosis of this thing. They said they checked everything over and the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out is how much oil is coming out of the turbo. So I, in my opinion, I think that this turbo is probably shot. Guys, check this out. See how wet that is? That thing is extremely, extremely wet but with that being said Nikki Bobby's sister already purchased the new motor we are planning on putting a stock turbo back on it I don't want to put this motor back in the car if we already have another known good motor 
and then it's still smoked. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure this motor may be fine. We may tear it down eventually just to figure it out, figure out what exactly is going on with it. But for now, we are just gonna throw a complete new motor in there, new turbo. It already has a ACT clutch. That is pretty crazy to me though, because this is an FP turbo, but it is extremely freaking wet. Damn. I definitely do miss working out Super News though. That was like an hour, maybe hour and a half, and the motor was already out on an Evo. It takes way, way longer than that because you have to pull the motor and train it together on an Evo. Or at least that's what I do. But yeah, we need to go pick up the new motor, swap a few things over, swap the, the clutch over, maybe the exhaust manifold, and then we could get the new motor back in the car. Big Bertha. Who, me? Or the truck. The toast. Okay. The taco. Here you go. Boss. I don't <laughs> appreciate wrapper in my clean truck. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you do is yell. I'm so freaking tired. After pulling that engine, just really, really tired. Come on, Hoss, speak. What? All right, we picked up the new motor, 100% complete, running, ready to drop in long block with like the intake manifold, turbo, exhaust manifold, up pipe, everything's ready to go. The only thing that I was not aware of, this motor is out of a 2007, so the wiring is actually different. That's what a 07 plug-in looks like. And let's run over here and I'll show you the difference. So this one has two on the passenger side and then two and two wiring plugins on the driver's side. And this is a 2006. The 2007 has just one main one on the passenger side. So unfortunately we're gonna have to swap over the intake manifold and I do not have intake gaskets here. So we are gonna have to wait until tomorrow to get some intake manifold gaskets. We can get that manifold swapped over. We can get the new motor back into the car with the OEM turbo, OEM exhaust manifold, all that good stuff. And hopefully get this car back on the road.